This is Shayna with Against the Grain Homestead. In this video, we're going to talk about squash bugs. So your squash leaves can turn yellow for various reasons, but this particular video is showing you squash bugs on my plant. And that is the reason why I have these yellow leaves here. It's due to squash bugs. Squash bugs come in three stages of their life. First, they are eggs. Then they are nymphs, which are immature squash bug adults. And then later they become an adult. So squash bugs, they destroy the plant by, they suck the juices out of the plant, causing the leaves to turn yellow, wilt, and die. It decreases your fruit production, and it could just devastate and completely kill your entire plant. So I'll show you kind of how we deal with the eggs, the nips, and the adults in this video. So right here is a squash bug nymph. This one is dead. We sprayed it last night and we will show you um, what spray we use, but you do need to be careful with this spray. Okay, so this particular squash bug, this one is a little bit older than the last one you saw and it is still alive. Um, here I'm going to spray it so you can see how fast it kills it. Just know that you do not have to spray it as heavy, I guess you could say, as I do. Literally one spray works. It's just, um, <laughs> we have a lot of squash bugs and um, sometimes I'm afraid that they're gonna get away. So I spray them entirely more than they need to be sprayed. So don't overdo it. <laughs> but you can see they slow down and they literally die within seconds. So you can see this guy is not moving here. All right. So like I said earlier, you need to be careful with this spray. It can harm your plants. So what I recommend is after you use this on your plants to hose your plants off, like get a water hose and just spray this residue off your plants because this can ruin your plants and kill them. Um, also, you'll want to spray at nighttime, okay, in the evening while the sun is still up. But this is the spray I use. It's just water and about one drop of Dawn dish soap. That is it. Just shake it up and shake before you spray each time. Um, anyway, we've been using this since about 2014 and it works great. We use it for aphids and squash bugs. There's our little kitten Max and our German Shepherd Chief. <laughs> Max is not supposed to be in there, but you know how it is. <laughs> okay, so while I had the camera on pause and I was looking for squash bugs, I found a lot. So you can see um, there's just several here. They're littered on the ground. Um, they're on the wood of the raised bed. They're on that dead leaf there on the other leaf. These are all dead now because I sprayed them as I found them. So these are all dead. Um, but you want to be careful with these brown leaves or any brown anything um, because they do hide very well under brown leaves, debris. So um, as I was spraying this, uh, little squash bug nymphs, they would come out from under the folds of the leaf, as you'll see here in a minute. You might see one more. Anyhow, they do. So try to keep your beds cleaned up and especially the dead leaves off because they do like to hide under there. That's a very good hiding place for them. And I cannot reiterate enough that it is best to use this spray in the evening um, I don't know, like 6 or 7 p.m., maybe 8 p.m. Okay, and here on the back of this leaf, I also found some leaf hopper nymphs, and they also will hurt crops. I personally haven't had them damage my squash. Um, I do have them causing 
problems to my pole beans, but not my squash. Okay, so here are the squash bug eggs. They are copper uh, colored and they pretty much always lay the eggs on the underside of the leaf right there where the stem connects to the leaf in that little crotch there. And you just need to take something like a knife or something um, thin. I usually like to use my pinky nail. It's just as a good little tool size fit for in between those veins there of the leaf. You just want to scrape them all off. Don't let any one drop and um, put it in soapy water. Now you cannot spray the eggs with the soap water because the eggs have like a coating on them. It protects the developing bug inside. So right here you can see here is another squash bug nymph. It's a little bit bigger. It is not an adult yet. But this one is dead from the spray as well. And I cannot reiterate enough, you want to spray later in the evening. You do not want to do it on the hottest part of the day. It can hurt your plant. So right here on the back side of this leaf is some squash bug eggs and newly hatched little squash bug nymphs. So when they first hatch, they tend to stay together in a group on the underside of the leaf. As they get older, like the other ones you have seen, they kind of go solo and spread out more on the plant. So it's best if you check your squash plants every day or every two days and scrape off the eggs. So right here are two squash bugs. They are adults and they are mating right here. So for these, you know, when they get to be bigger like this, I just take them in my gloved hand. I've done it barehanded, but it's a little, you know, creepy feeling. Anyhow, so I just put them in soapy water. This bucket isn't so soapy anymore, but um, it still has soap in there and they will die. So right here um, are some other insects. So right there is a leaf footed bug. They will also, you know, hurt your plants. But for me personally, they don't devastate as much as a squash bug. Right here is a cucumber beetle. They look a little like a like ladybug, but they're yellow with black spots, and some of them will have black stripes on them instead. But they will eat pretty much anything. Um, I have them on my squash, my green beans, um, cucumbers. It doesn't really matter. They'll, they'll pretty much eat anything. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope it helps you out if you have squash bugs. But just remember, okay, anything you spray on your plant, aside from water, even if it's something organic, um, it can stress your plant out. It can hurt your plant. It can even kill your plant. So always spray in the evening, okay? Um, always use just, always start with the smallest amount possible. Um, like I said, we have been using this, uh, dish soap spray since 2014. You just have to be careful with it. You know, it can ruin your plants. It can kill them. So start small if you try, decide to go this route. But, um, so always spray in the evening, never spray when it's super hot or the sun's high in the sky. Um, and it would be best if you would like rinse off the residue from your leaves just to be on the safe side. So thank you for watching.